I'm a head shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do. What's going on, YouTube? I'm here with Mr. Kenny. Morning, viewers. And uh, today we're going to go catch some squid. My first choice was a pink squid jig. I've just casted her out, and I haven't mastered this camera on the squid jig yet, but we're working on it. My favourite times to go catch squid is an hour before high tide and an hour after low tide. And some of the grounds I like to look for is what you're seeing on screen now. And I like to focus on the edges of the reefs. Um, it's pretty easy in the shallow water just to use your eyes. What's the time, Kenny? Nine. Nine. I think we've got a tide change about 11 o'clock. So we're just mucking around here, uh, squidding. I'm gonna go out to the shipping channel, or out past the shipping channel and have a crack for a snapper. Because all we're doing is targeting snapper that are leaving the bay and they're just running out on the mud. And uh, Kenny knows a lot, don't you Kenny? He's sitting there laughing at me. So there's a couple of ways we can target them today. We can either go to local reefs and sit on a reef and wait for them to come through. Because there will be a lot of snappers still in the bay. Go out wide and get the ones that are leaving the bay. I really like snapper fishing a week either side of the moon. I don't know. Kenny can't catch a squid if his life depended on it. Yes, I can. No, you can't, mate. How many you caught this morning? One. <laughs> so another one on the old Rui jig. Don't be a wuss. Again on the on the Rui. Let's have a look at his eye. So nice. Look how angry he is. The lifting technique. On the roo again. Nice size. It's got a bit of a rattle in this one. Doing the damage this morning. It's a male jig, it's got balls in it. So I'll just cast it back where they were. Right. See if we can get another one. But they all seem to be pretty decent size today, eh, Kenny? Mm. Again on the roo jig. Should I lift him? Oh, yeah. And he, he dropped him. <laughs> Why didn't I just net? <laughs> oh, look at that colours. He goes pink. Let's see the colours he's no. going pink underneath. Oh, he nearly took the camera one then. Where's that net? Again on the rude jig. White one. Oh, he's a nice one. Yeah, he's a goodie. You've hit a good spot. Here's another good one. Oh, no, not as big, but... Wow. So put him out of his misery. <laughs> there it is. That's a snapper, mate. Beautiful, well done, Kenny. Just don't go too hard on him, you know the deal. So, what we're actually doing, you want to tell the punters what we're doing, how we're intercepting the snapper? We're intercepting the snapper as they're going out of the bay. It's really important to have a burly pot, pot going and burly up. You and throw out some pillies as well. It's a good fish, mate. Yeah, it's not bad at all. You might need the, uh, the, net. the net. Can you? I don't want to look. This is a really good fish, Kenny. Just wind. Move over into the corner. It's not that big. Oh, Jesus Christ, your rod's got more. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh. 
Jeez, your rod's got a lot of bend. You don't have enough. For four to eight kilo, hey? <laughs> that would be a four to eight kilo <laughs> rod. <laughs> Ain't no world record, but no. it's a nice eating fish. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. You're on your way, mate. Heaven here. Yeah, he's getting bigger. They're getting bigger. You reckon? Slightly. The snapper. It's been a bit tough today. We're not playing cricket as we would like. Oh. Nothing to ride home about. Ride home about, but a good panty. See the air coming out? Yeah. Like a, like a balloon. We put him back, mate. Like a deflating balloon. He's swallowed that right down. Good one? Yeah, it's a good one. All right, beautiful. For me, snapper fishing is about crunching the, the odds. On the days you only get one buckle, you want to make it count. Don't get stuck in my ways. I'm always changing them and thinking about new things. A lot of people emulate what the charters do, and that's great, so do I. But the charters have got to catch numbers where we wreck fishers don't. So I fish a hybrid fishing style where I mix it up a lot. Certain times of the year I'll be sounding like a madman, like everyone else, and then other times of the years I'll be relying on my diaries and the way I keep my diaries, I base them around the lunar cycle. Oh, he's all right. Lead him over. On the old Rizzler rigs, Reedies. Whoa. On snelled rigs, I use foros, and I'm a big believer that that top hook must be locked, and locking it by a snell knot, not a half hitch. That locked knot gives it good driving force to penetrate the fish's mouth. It's always the same heads year after year catching the early season reds in Port Phillip Bay. And that's not luck. Well done, Kenny. Yeah, thanks to your rigs. Oh, there, that's my rod, isn't it? Yeah. Well done, Brett. Well done, Brett. And not within two minutes of me catching one. Brett's on. This one's a better fish. Into the bag. Into the net. Oops. I wreck the camera. Nice size. Slightly bigger. He flew up well above his weight. Oh, guess what, people? <laughs> it ain't me that's getting the rod or the fish. It's Brett. At the start of the season, I tried fiberglass rods, and a lot of old school blokes use them. What I found is there's too much flex in the, the rod tip. When the snapper run off with your baits, they hold it in their mouth and then you want the slack line to like bungee into their face, giving you a good chance of a hook up. You just want everything to be like boom. So it's important for me to have a stiff rod tip. Don't get me wrong, they all work, everything works. As I said before, you're just cutting down the odds. Other people use fiberglass rods because they last longer. Good morning. Yep, Ken, you're on. Yeah. As I lifted three times, it happened, mate. Yeah. The burly cage. Every time I lifted it up and gave it a shake, the shake and bake, baby. The shake and bake. Yeah. This one. All these fish that we're catching, they're ranging from about one kilo up to three kilos, which is about 45 centimeters to about 60 centimeters. The best size to eat. <laughs> Yesterday I was speaking to a guy at the ramp and he couldn't believe all the cars that were at Mornington boat ramp for this time of year. I thought that was really cool. 
that guys are fishing for snapper still. It's good for the economy, it's good for tackle shops, it's good for everyone. If more people went fishing and took home their fish and ate them and not buy them from the store, it would be a different world we live in. Well, you can only... No, this one might be... Oh, he's a nice one. Biggest of the lot today. Ah, get him in. Here, take that. 40% of the humans' fish consumption is already farmed. We send humans to the moon. We build computers, laptops, and mobile phones. And I believe in the future, the fish that will be endangered are the ones that we don't eat.